The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sea. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five burly loaves and two fish. But what good are they for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined, about 5,000 in number, then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five early loaves. And he had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we will have a special prayer for the elderly and the grandparents. Kasi hindi naman, ang, hindi naman lahat ng lolo at lola ay elderly. Yung iba, bata pa lang, lolo at lola na eh. Ano po? At hindi lahat na matanda, lolo at lola. Sino ba yung lolo at lola? Yung may apo. So kung ikaw ay matanda, na wala kang apo, hindi ka grandparent. Kasama ka sa elderly. Matanda ka lang. Ano po? Anyway. This is to preempt the feast for tomorrow, the feast of St. Joachim and Anne, the grandparents of Jesus, the parents of Mary, ang lola at lolo ni Jesus. The two readings, the first and the gospel, is about feeding, about feeding. And to understand the two feeding, you have to understand the second reading. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, poverty is not simply not having food. Poverty is not is having food and yet you have failed to be nourished. Hindi yung wala kang makain. May nakakain ka, kaya, walang, kaya lang walang sustansya. Both physical and spiritual. Poverty is never about having no money. Poverty is being lack of hope. Because many times I have said this, 
Some people are poor because the only thing they have is money. Poverty is not about without a house. It is without a home. Pwede kang walang bahay, pero mayroon kang relasyon sa pamilya. Sayang ang ganda ng bahay, wala kang pamilya. Walang relasyon. Para ang lahat ng kasama mo sa bahay, border. Border lang. Para bagang pagdating dyan, naghahanap lang ng makakain, matutulugan. Pagkatapos kumain, iiwanan lang yung pinagkainan sa, sa sink. Piling nila may tagahuga sila. Yung inom ng inom ng tubig sa rep na hindi nagsasalim. Hindi po ba? Ano? Marami sa ating ganyan. Uhaw na uhaw ka, pagkuha mo, malamig na tubig, mabote lang. Walang tubig. Kasi feeling nila may tagasalin sila ng tubig. Yung bukas lang ng bukas ng ilaw, bukas lang ng bukas ng gripo, ayaw magsara. Ayaw mag-off. Bakit? Hindi sila nagbabayad. Pero subukan ninyo na sila ang magbayad. Sinabi ko na yan minsan, pag mayroong kang anak na gustong gumamit ng kotse mo, sabihin mo, lilinisin mo yan, pagagasulinahan mo. Ano sagot ng anak? Magjijip na lang ako. ba? Diba? Malalaman mo. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, even in feeding, yung mga tao na sila yung kakain lang, kung maka-order, akala mo. ba? Diba? Pero pag sila magbabayad, sasabihin sa'yo, wag yan, wag yan, ito lang, ito lang. ba? Diba? Bakit ganun tayo? No? Alam natin yan, sakit natin yung mga Pilipino eh. Sharon Coneta. Ano yung Sharon Coneta? Balutin mo. ba? Diba? Kumain ka na, magbabalot ka pa. ba? Diba? Yung iba, pilit na pagkakasahin doon sa pinggan. Lahat ng laman ng lamesa. Para makabali, subo na subo, kahit hindi kinunguya. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, we fail to understand why there is feeding in the scripture. If we only look into ourselves when we simply think of self-satisfaction. Number one, every feeding has a purpose. And two things you will always notice. Two things. Before the feeding, there is, there is always an act of thanksgiving. Kung napapansin ninyo, palaging may panalangin ng pasalamat at pagbabaspas. Sa lahat ng kainan ng Diyos, hindi lang yung dahil may nagugutom. Hindi lang yung dahil may nagugutom. Merong pasasalamat. Second, pagkatapos ng kumain, palaging merong pangungulekta ng sobra. Walang pag-aaksaya. Dalawang bagay yan. Huwag na huwag niyong kakalimutan. Palaging may prayer of blessing at kinukulekta ng sobra. Bawal mag-aaksaya. Diyos yan. Yan ang pinanggalingan ng pinagkakinakain. Kaya nga, madalas ko yan sinasabi, pag kayo'y kumakain sa bahay o kahit saan kayo kumain at hindi kayo nagdasal, may kulang. Ikalawa, pag inaaksaya ninyo ang inyong kinakain, hindi nyo naintindihan ang pagpapakain ng Diyos. Bagamat sinasabi ng matatanda, ubusin mo yan, maraming nagugutom. Di po ba, ano? Yan, yan tayo lumaki. Ubusin mo yan, marami nagugutom. Ano sagot mo ngayon? Bakit? Pag inubos ko ba yan, bubusok sila? Huh? Marami pilosopo. Pero magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. Two things, the minimum of every feeding is to have a prayer of thanksgiving. Second, that there will be no wasting. But I have to add this. I have to add this. Number one, Addition, you have to understand that when you eat, you eat with respect. Sabay-sabay. Walang nauuna, walang nauhuli. Walang hindi mo pinag-aantay ang lamesa. 
Sabay-sabay. Mahalaga yon. It's about respect so that you can pray together. Second, sa buhay natin ito, ano po? When we talk about respect, you don't eat without being dressed properly. Hindi ibig sabihin nakabarong ka. Pero hindi ka dapat hubad o kaya nakasando. Hindi hubad at hindi nakasando. Bakit? It is about respect. Even God, when He invited the poor, what was the minimum expectation? That they have to be dressed properly. It's about respect. Four things. There must be an aqua prayer in thanksgiving. There should be no wasted, wastings. Third, there must be a gathering where no one waits and no one goes ahead. And fourth, that you have to dress properly. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, the feeding is always catechetical. It is not a social service. Hindi yan yung may nakitang nagugutong, pinakain, hindi. Palagi catechetical. Merong tinuturo ang Diyos. Palagi may tinuturo ang Diyos. Suriin natin ang ating mga salo-salo. Suriin natin. Palaging may salo-salo ang Diyos sa iba't ibang bahagi na ibang helio. Why? Because relationships are built in meals. You don't eat with enemies. You only eat with friends. You don't eat with people you do not trust. You, you only eat with people you want to build a relationship. Yung mga naghahanap ng mapapangasawa, di ba? Ano sabi ng mga babae? The shortest distance to man's heart is through their stomach. Lumang kasabihan niya. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Mahalagang mahalaga yun. Sabi, pero bakit? Namimili ba ang Diyos ng kung sinong pakakainin? Hindi. Pero, merong inuuna ang Diyos. Hindi namimili. Pero merong inuuna. Kung natatandaan ninyo, iniimbitahan niya. Sino muna? Yung mga kaibigan. Hindi sila dumating. Anong sabi ng Diyos? O, imbitahan mo na mga tao sa kalsada. Mayroong inuuna. Hindi namimili, pero mayroong inuuna. Ano sabi sa Ebanghelyo? Pakainin mo ang mga nakaupo. Opo ninyo? Particular yun. There is an instruction. Pakainin mo ang nakaupo. Hindi lahat na nandun. You must be particular And you must look at the details because God must be teaching us something. Halimbawa, yung ating isang kanin, isang ulam. Para saan yan? Street dwellers. Para yan sa mga taong walang sariling tahanan. Palagi kong pinagsasabihan yung staff na namimigay ng number. Mahirap naman yung binigyan mo ng number. Pag tinignan mo, mas mahal pa ang cellphone kaysa sa iyo. Mahirap naman yon, May sakit ng hepa. Ano may sakit ng hepa? Aba, lalaki ng kwento sa ginto. ba? Diba? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, the purpose is for the street dwellers. Hindi, sa, hindi mo sila bibigyan, unahin mo muna yung mga street dwellers. Pag sobra, pwede silang kumuha. There must be a purpose. There must be a purpose. Yung ba, bakit namimili kayo, Father? Eh kasi may purpose eh. Ang purpose, dapat ang ipapakain mo ay yung mga tinutulungan mong karinderyang walang hanap buhay. That's the purpose. Hindi ka nagpapakain ng binili mo sa restaurant. That's the purpose. There is always a catechetical purpose. 
Ay, Father, may natututunan ba yung mga yan? Hopefully, mayroon. Hopefully, mayroon. That they will begin to think and perhaps to understand that priorities are given to the less fortunate. Kasi hindi naman talaga lahat natututo. Hindi lahat natututo. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, hanggat hindi tayo natututo, patuloy ang ating mga problema. Ano ang purpose, as I've said, about the first reading feeding and the, the gospel feeding that you should never forget that we have one Lord, one God, one faith, one baptism. Nang sakit ng kalingkingan ay dapat nararamdaman ng buong katawan. Bakit ba natin pinagdiriwang ang elderly and the grandparents? Because the Holy Father would like to remind us of this world, of this throw-away mentality. Ano yung throw-away mentality? Pag hindi na pwede, tapon mo na. Paltan mo na yan. Luma na. ba? Diba? Hindi, ano ang kinalakihan ng marami sa atin? Baka pwede pang iparepair. Baka pwede pang ipagawa. Pero mga tao ngayon, sa panahon ngayon, pag wala nang pakinabang, tapon mo na, paltan mo na. Kaya pati misis, pinapaltan mo. Ang taba na eh. ba? Diba? Sorry for the words. Matanda na eh. Paltan mo na. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Two people that the Holy Father reminds us to look. Number one, the unimportant. Second, the unneeded. Sino yung unimportant? The unborn are considered non-important. Kaya pwede silang ilaglag. Wala silang halaga eh. Second, pabayaan mo na matatanda. We don't need them anymore. Pabigat lang sila. Dagdag gastos lang sila. Kasama lang sila doon sa pinipensyonan. Kasama lang sila sa ginagastuhan sa healthcare. Become old. To be old nowadays is a burden. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, meron bang tatanda kung walang ipapanganak? Gusto nyo ba nung kayo pinanganak, hindi na kayo tumanda? Come to think of it. The feeding is not simply to eat, but to understand your faith. To understand who is this God? Who is this Lord? And what kind of baptism we receive? Mahirap yung kumakain tayo na masarap. Sorry for the words. Pero hindi kayo nagpapakain o pinapakain nyo sa inyo mga kasambahay ay yung mga tira nyo kahapon. Sorry. Meron mga ganun eh. Hindi pinapakain. Yung hindi kasabay, pwede intindihin. Pero yung hindi nyo pakainin ng kinain nyo ngayon, ang ipapakain nyo, yung tira nyo kahapon, mukhang hindi makatao. Lalong-lalo na yung mga may alagang aso. May aso. Na yung aso mo, may vitamina, pero yung kasambahay mo, walang makain. Hello. At ang problema dyan, mas mahal mo yung aso mo kaysa sa lolo at lola mo. That's the challenge of today. Every time you eat, you ask those four questions. Have I been grateful? Because you are not entitled to any blessing. Second, have I not wasted the gifts that God has given me? Third, do I respect the people I eat with in my own family? When I say respect, maayos ba ang relasyon? Hindi ba ako nangangalunya na kasabay kong kumakain ng aking asawa? Hindi ba ako nagkakaroon ng anak sa labas na may sarili akong anak? And fourth, do I eat with respect? 
My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, feeding is not simply about food. There is always something God trying to tell us. Amen. Paalala po ng mga doktor, uso po ang trangkaso, kaya mag-iingat. Ikalawa, yesterday, I guess many of you have know this already, that a priest, a guest in the Diocese of Caloocan, Padre Maui, member of the Mission Society of the Philippines, waiting for his flight to go back to the mission, succumbed to a heart attack yesterday. And when they examined him, siya po ay fully vaccinated. But, meron siyang COVID. So, ang paalala po ay hindi porke kayo ay fully vaccinated, pwede na kayong magpabaya. Ano po? Ingat po. Ano po? Ingat po. Huwag po kayong magpapabaya. Going back to what I've said, kaninang umaga, kaninang 9 o'clock, of course, the same homily, but before coming for the 12.15 Mass, there was a comment, sabi nung nag-comment, sabi niya, hindi ba, Father, pakikialam na ng simbahan yan kung paano kami kumakain sa bahay? Pakikialam na daw ng simbahan kung paano kumain sa, sim- sa bahay nila. Siguro tungkol doon sa nagdadasal, yung sabay-sabay, yung kayo ay hindi nag-aaksaya, at kayo ay maayos ang damit, baka yun ang sinasabing nakikialam ang simbahan. Hindi ho kami nakikialam. Hindi ho ako nakikialam. Bahala kayo sa buhay nyo. Ano po? Ang sinasabi ko lamang ay, ano ang katuruan na pinapahayag ng Diyos tuwing siya ay nagpapakain? Feeding is not simply about food. It's about a prayer of thanksgiving. You should not be wasting the gifts that God has given you. There must be respect in eating together. Hindi kanya-kanya. Hindi kanya-kanya. And lastly, when we talk about respect, hindi yung dumadating ka na hindi ka man lamang maayos ang pananamit. Hindi ko sinasabing magbarong ka. Ang sinasabi ko, hindi naman dapat yung kayo ay nakasando o kung nakatapis lang, hindi ko alam. Ano po? Show respect. Hindi namimili ang Diyos sa kanyang mga pinapakain. Pero merong inuuna at wag niyo itong kalal- kalilimutan. Meron ding pinapalayas. The Lord be with you. And be your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.